Hey guys, I'm Sean Stone. And I'm Jay Bates. And today we get email. So we're just going to jump right into the question. Uh, today's question comes from Tony Walsh. He asks, from a novice woodworker, what sort of safety equipment do you recommend? Hearing protection, eye protection, mask, etc. Are there any you find more comfortable or that work better than others? I see you wearing the stuff when you shoot your videos, but I have no idea how to tell a good breathing mask from a bad one. There's a lot of stuff to cover really fast. Well, let's start it with the your eyes, your your uh, safety glasses. Uh, regardless of what other people do, it's, per, it's a personal responsibility and a decision you need to make for your own shop safety. So this is just what we what we do. Mm. Um, we both use the exact same safety glasses, and I think I bought mine after seeing his and using his because I like them so much. These are just inexpensive 3M brand safety glasses. And on the back side of the arm here, there's a spot so that if you wear um, I, uh, earbud style. Yeah, it's got like a string connected to it. So the kind you kind of like let drape around your neck. Hearing protection, uh, yeah. So you can clip them into your safety glasses so they're always right there and mm. then that will dangle from your uh, neck as needed, but these are really really inexpensive and they work really well so much Real quick so much that they make the exact same thing in a tinted version That is again very inexpensive and I bought like three or four of these and scattered them throughout my vehicles So that well mine and my wife's vehicle so that I always have good no. uh, Sunglasses there's their safety glasses. They're but I really use light. Sunglasses. They're really light and also they have a, a foam insert that you can have in here Which I've never really used it. Um, I don't have you No, they have a they do have a foam insert and maybe if you're in a dusty environment like mowing your lawn or something like that Where it's stirring up a lot of dust uh, Maybe that would be beneficial, but I just never really cared for them. So yeah. as soon as I got them, I took them off Yeah, I did the same thing Yeah, so as far as uh, eye protection or safety glasses go um, that's my my choice and i guess jay's as well yeah i previously had some uh i, I don't want to talk about what we're all i don't want to focus on exactly what we're using previously as well i've also used a dewalt uh, set of, of eyeglasses or safety glasses getting tongue-tied and they had padding on the the arms of the glasses and every pair of safety glasses that i've tried that has padding has always wore off and then the internal component is much thinner and pokey. So I, I recommend just staying away from the padded ones and just getting some normal and expensive safety glasses. Yeah, and here in the shop, I always keep a couple of just random safety glasses. Like these are just Harbor Freight, uh, really cheap safety glasses. And these are more of an industrial type. They have metal arms and they're tinted. So if you do some outside work as well, um, like Jay was talking about. But regardless, um, <clears throat> I find the, 3M ones to be very light and you just really don't even re realize they're on your face basically. Yeah, I uh, I would also suggest having multiples in your shop because yeah. why, if you are the only one working in there, odds are you may not always be the only one working in there. So uh, yeah. having some protection for those who uh, step into your shop is, is very convenient. Yeah, you done? Is that? Yeah. That's right. Okay, so the next thing he asked about is mask. And so... Um, there's a couple of different masks that I think you would want to have in your shop as far as, you know, dust, uh, wood chips or whatever you want to talk about. And then also fumes. So if you're spraying and finishing that kind of thing. Yeah, that was one thing that when I started woodworking, I didn't really understand. Um, there's particulate filters and then chemical filters. So we'll show pictures of what we have set up here, but we mm. kind of have the same thing. Well, Again. yeah, so we both have the same uh, mask. This is also made by 3M. And so when you have it on your head, <clears throat> you pull this down and it tightens. And then when you loosen it, it kind of hangs down here. You can get a drink of coffee or talk or, you know, whatever. Yes. This is it's the. Pretty uh, comfortable. It's a 3M 6503. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so these these filters right here, these pink ones that you come and they see, these are par particulate filters for dust and debris that's actually in the air. And they just snap on or twist on. Uh, they're interchangeable with different things. So again, particulate filters and what he's got here, these are uh, carbon cartridge, they carbon they're organic vapor cartridges. Yes, so these filter out chemicals and uh, nasty stuff you don't want to be breathing that's non-particulate, you know. So 
I have actually two respirators. This one, obviously, is set this, up. I'll just interrupt you just a second. This will fit on the same mask. Yeah. So you can interchange these. these yeah, they will fit on the same mask. What happened is I originally had this mask, and my shop ate it. I couldn't find it, so I ordered <laughs> another one that I had that I heard of that had really good reviews and put particulate filters on it mm -hmm. because I use that more. And then I found this one, so I just have a dedicated one for uh, chemicals and then... Yeah, and I'm just curious. I didn't mean to cut you off, but does this one have a quick release like this one does? No, this is the, again, it's 3M. It's the 6200. It, it, it's just a regular just pull over your head thing. And also, let me just touch on uh, the this one is because I have a beard, and a lot of people are concerned with, yeah. you know, does it seal well or whatever. Um, you know, Jay has facial hair as well. But for me, with a full, you know, full beard, this covers pretty good, and it seals in my application now. Uh, for some of you guys, I'm sure that have the larger beards. I'm not sure that this would cover it. I, I don't know, but for me, this works really well. Yeah. And then another option. Did you have more thing? Anything else on? No. On that? The, these are uh, really, really good, but also really, really inconvenient and uncomfortable. Sometimes you may be in a situation where you may not need, you know, ultimate pr pr protection. So that's where there's other products. Yeah, I, I tend to use those when I'm, you know, I know that I'm about to cut a lot of, a lot of wood at one time, and I know I'm going to be using the tools for a, a lengthy period of time. And be in that dusty environment for a while. Right. So on a, when I'm cutting quick cuts, uh, this sometimes is my go-to. I will go back that? to the 3M. This is a uh, RZ mask. I'm right. sure you guys have heard of RZ, uh, but it just has a replaceable filter on the inside that pretty much just snaps into place. And then you just Velcro it around your the back of your head. So uh, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I'm not I'm, real, I'm not a big fan of this just for the simple fact of a guy with a beard, this doesn't seal as well as the other mask. Yeah, so you've, you've probably seen these masks, RZ masks. And for me, what I've what I've seen from my research is people love it or people hate it. It did work for some people or it doesn't work for some people. Um, RZ actually contacted me and wanted to do uh, some stuff on my channel, and I've tried one of their masks. And for me, it, it, I just couldn't get it to seal. Uh, so I passed it along to. Well, I had two of them. I passed them along, and one person said they really really like it. Other person said they didn't. So uh, just personal experience there. Um, yeah. I'm not a big fan of those. The only thing, the, the thing I really like about this is the convenience. I mean, you just strap it on that and Velcro it and that's it. And you can just take it off real quick and throw it on the bench or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Maybe I got a goofy shaped face. I probably do. Yeah, so. well, I wasn't going to say anything, but yeah. Um, <laughs> and then the, actually there's one more step down from that. And that oh, is yeah. the most basic, just regular contractor style yeah. dust mask. Yeah. I don't use those in my shop because... I, they don't really seal well at all, um, but better than nothing. Better than nothing. Yeah. Um, but I always use one of those. I've got allergies. I always use one of those when I'm cutting my grass at the house, mowing my lawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good option, uh, just to kind of use and throw away disposable type. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we could talk about hearing protection. We talked we talked about eye protection and different types of masks. And so hearing protection, um, I think we we both use a Bluetooth enabled headset. Actually, mine is built in. Um, Jay's got something a little bit different, but I use these in the shop, and I mean, I just love them because I can listen to podcasts or music or. What, my, what exactly is it? They are safety works. I I just got them at the big blue store. Big blue <laughs> store. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they were relatively relatively inexpensive, and so they've worked well. And I can use my phone. I can hear you know if my phone rings, I can hear them in this. And so that's why I really like this. Um, you have a little bit different setup, right? Yes. So these are, this was, I also looked at those at the blue store, Lowe's. <laughs> we can say Lowe's. I looked at those at, at Lowe's and um, they were a little bit more than what I wanted to spend because I knew I could get them a little bit cheaper on Amazon and I didn't have an immediate need. So I, I bought this off Amazon. This is a Howard Light um, earmuff set, but it also has a jack right here for MP3 input. So you can run a solid wire from here to your pocket for your phone or something like that. Or you can buy two other things, which is what I did. One of them is a Bluetooth receiver. Cool. And one of them is a male-to-male -male, um, headphone jack. So this plugs into my Bluetooth 3 receiver. 3.5. Yeah. Yeah. 
and it plugs into here. And a lot of people have asked me, what's that microphone dangling from your <laughs> uh, hearing protection? It's like not. That. It's it's actually just a Bluetooth receiver. And um, you know what? I, I, to be honest with you, th these have been fantastic for the first couple years that I've had them. Mm. And I'm beginning to find that the padding around the inside here is starting to get harder. And when I have hearing protection on, it doesn't quite seal as much as my most basic set. So I've gone back to using these because I honestly don't listen to music as much as I used to in the shop. So I've gone back to my original ones. These are just regular basic uh, hearing protection. These are Western Safety and yeah, Western Safety brand. Just the very, <coughs> very, very basic ones. And these have a much better... Uh, padding. padding and yeah. rubber around them. They seal much better. And, and a really cheap option is Harbor Freight. If you guys live near Harbor Freight, these are like three bucks. Yeah. Um, and, you know, for the most part, they they work pretty good. I wouldn't say they're of great quality when it comes to the padding because uh, I, I have had a set to where over time it starts to crack and, you know, that doesn't feel good on the, on the ear. But uh, for alternative option this is a, a good option or a secondary just like safety yeah. glasses so other people are going to be in your shop eventually mm -hmm. uh or or children around tools or something like that yeah so i keep the harbor freight laying around the shop and i've got three sets for my kids when they come in here and so uh, i used to hang these harbor freight ones just everywhere on every tool mm -hmm. uh, along with safety glasses just kind of remind myself hey put this stuff on it doesn't take but a second yeah you know, so and then something that i didn't bring uh I don't have any of those uh, like earbud styles that plug into your ears simply because I'm just not a big fan of getting something dusty while working in the shop and then sticking that dusty thing in your ear. Personal preference, but I don't, I don't particularly like that style of hearing protection. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might try something that in the future, uh, but for now, this is, this is my setup and uh, I guess we're, we're kind of on the same, along the same lines when it comes to safety equipment, but a little bit, different variety here. Hopefully that's some help to all of you out there. Yep. All right, guys. See you next time. See you later. Later.